There are several ways to modify a topo surface once it has been generated in Revit architecture. This lesson will specifically cover how to modify points and simplify the surface of an existing site. In the data set, open the site plan view and select the topo surface. To edit, you choose Edit Surface from the contextual panel. This may take some time to generate the underlying points. These points will remain embedded inside the surface, even if the CAD file which was used to generate them is no longer present. While in the Edit Surface mode, you may place new points from the Tools panel or select existing points and either move, copy, or delete them. You may also create additional points from other import CAD files or point files. These points will be merged with the existing points already defining our surface. To place a new point, you have the option of specifying an absolute elevation for your point if you know it, or you may choose the relative to surface option. This will allow you to place points above or below the specified location projected from the existing surface. As you add new points which create a new slope to the surface, additional contour lines will be displayed. The Simplified Surface tool will reduce the number of points on this topo surface. Clicking this tool will display a Simplify Surface Accuracy prompt where we may choose the distance threshold of points. If I set this value to one foot and click OK, my topography will look quite different. This may also introduce some triangulation to the contours. If you do use this tool, it is best to start with relatively low numbers such as the default value and gradually increase to achieve the desired simplification of the surface. You can use all of these editing tools to create a proposed condition for your site design, but bear in mind that if you only have one surface in the model, you will not be able to calculate the proposed cut and fill easily. To do this, it is recommended that you use the option to create a graded region covered elsewhere in this course. When you are done editing the surface, you choose the Finish Surface button to return to the main model.